Did you know you can make ultra crispy sweet potato fries without any deep frying? Yes, and it couldn't be any easier. You'll learn how to cut sweet potatoes into the perfect fry shape, as well as a few simple tricks to get that super crunchy exterior. Hey there, I'm London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com where you'll learn how to make nourishing meals for you and your loved ones. And today we're going to be making these crispy baked sweet potato fries. So if you're ready to get to cooking, then come on in and let's get started. We'll first start off by preheating the oven to 425 degrees. This temperature is hot enough that you'll get those crispy edges, but not so hot that the oil burns when baking. Next, let's take a look at the kind of sweet potatoes that are best to use in this recipe. When you're selecting them at the grocery store, you'll wanna look for ones that are medium sized and about four to six inches in length. Finding potatoes that are a similar shape will make your fries about the same size after cutting them. This may initially seem like a minor detail, but it will ensure that all of your fries crisp up evenly in the oven. Once you've selected your potatoes, grab a vegetable or a potato peeler and peel two pounds or about three medium-sized sweet potatoes. This step is optional and you can leave the skin on if you want more fiber and antioxidants. After peeling the potatoes, cut each potato in half lengthwise. Place one of the halves flat side down on the cutting board and make cuts approximately 1 4th inch apart. Put these pieces flat side down and finish cutting the potatoes into long, thin strips about 1 4th to 1 half inch wide. Repeat with the remaining potatoes. Y'all, I'm starting to get a little bit nostalgic over here. When my husband and I started dating, one of the very first meals he made for me had these incredible sweet potato fries as a side dish. Okay, I'll be totally honest, I actually don't remember how incredible they tasted because I was too busy getting swept up into those deep chocolate brown eyes. But since then, we have some version of either sweet potato fries or roasted sweet potato cubes almost weekly in our house. So you should have all of your sweet potatoes cut into fry shapes. And remember, we want them to be four to six inches in length, about one fourth to one half inch wide, and one fourth inch thick. Next, you'll wanna grab the largest rimmed baking sheet that you have. I'm using one that's about 17 by 11 inches and is also known as a baker's half sheet pan. If you don't have one this big, you may need to use two smaller ones in order to fit all of your fries. Place a piece of parchment paper on it that covers the entirety of the pan. Add the sliced potatoes to the lined sheet pan. Sprinkle one tablespoon of cornstarch or tapioca starch over all of the fries. Toss until well coated. Drizzle two tablespoons of oil over all of the potatoes. Sprinkle with one teaspoon of salt to taste and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Toss to combine. Avocado oil is my preference when making these fries because it's got a higher smoke point of over 500 degrees and it's mildly flavored. If you've only got olive oil on hand, you can always use this, but just know that it's got a lower smoke point and a slightly more robust flavor. Spread the fries out in a single layer on the baking sheet, making sure they do not overlap. Okay, this may seem like another minor detail, but seriously, y'all, don't overcrowd your pan because your fries will not get that same beautiful, crispy exterior and they'll end up getting super soggy and mushy. So we've got them all spread out on the pan. Now we just need to pop them into the preheated 425 degree oven for 20 minutes. Flip all of the fries over and return them to the oven for an additional 12 to 15 minutes. You'll know the fries are done baking when the edges begin to brown and crisp up. Baked sweet potato fries are best when served immediately. The longer they sit out and cool to room temperature, the soggier they will get. You can serve them with a sprinkle of fresh parsley or cilantro and with a side of ketchup, mayonnaise, or even sriracha mayo. If you're lucky enough to have some leftovers, they can be stored in an airtight container for up to three to four days in the refrigerator. When ready to reheat, add them back to a baking sheet and return to a 325 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until they're heated through. Microwaving leftover fries will make them extremely mushy. This recipe is a great base for you to get a little creative. 
there are a ton of different seasonings you can throw on your fries after they're done baking. Sprinkle on some blackened or Cajun seasoning for a spicy kick. Add a little taco seasoning for a Mexican flair. Or eat them for a sweet treat by tossing them in some cinnamon and sugar. If you want a few more side dish ideas, make sure you check out these other easy potato recipes. Thanks so much for hanging out, y'all. I'll see you again soon.